And, you know, I could have got discouraged way earlier and pretty much written off the rest of my year, but I try, you know, I stuck with it and kind of pretty much like kind of shadowed the this, this story of my, my ski racing life up to that point, kind of stuck with it and overcame some things and, you know, in the end put a lot of work in and it, and it, and it paid off. I started skiing when I was 18 months old. It's almost like that, uh, it's ingrained in me to, to kind of do it, but both my parents are from uh, Brno, Czech, uh, Czech Republic. They fled during the whole communist thing there and uh, came over in 81. My dad was actually a volunteer patroller at Mikiska, and I think what happened was I got to an age where, you know, five, five years old there and became more of a handful. So they kind of just put me off into the little ski racing league. And then, uh, you know, things started snowballing from there. You know, I was doing well, I was really, I was enjoying it obviously. But then there comes that age, you know, 13, 14, things start to get serious, especially when you hit fifth at 15, things really start to ramp up financially as well. You know, the money wasn't always there to kind of do it. So, you know, when all the other kids were staying in hotel rooms or whatever, you know, at races, uh, you know, we were camping out in the motorhome. And well, one summer even, I remember I, I wrote almost a thousand letters to sponsors just to get enough money to actually continue doing this thing. And I matched the race just enough to kind of, to keep going. And luckily that was the year I made the provincial team. And, you know, it's all it comes down to is you got to work hard and you got to stay determined and it's not going to be easy, you know, I have to overcome obstacles and well, once you do get there and you kind of look back on the, the hard road of getting there, I think you have a, a different appreciation for it, you know, it wasn't something that was handed to me, I had to work for it and, you know, but now, uh, you know, it's, it's something I'm really proud of now that I look back on it. Back in 09, uh, racing at uh, Lake Louise, had a... Uh, Pretty devastating fall actually in the Super G and managed to break my uh, tip fib. It was a pretty bad injury, but uh, I think the biggest challenge is just being able to get back to being sharp again. You know, really taking those risks, right? And that's the thing. It's you gotta you gotta have everything dialed in. You gotta know where you're gonna take your chances, and you gotta be you basically you can't be afraid of taking those risks, right? You don't have a, a run to feel it out. But that's why you know champions are champions. If you want to win, then you, you have to take absolute chances. I love being outdoors, like that's my thing. I love camping, I love fishing, and a big activity, I, with this whole group of us, we all go dirt biking. I love that, I, that's where, like one of my biggest passions. And, you know, just keeping that speed and the, and the lines are similar on some certain, you know, some certain sections, and it keeps me, I think, mentally sharp and kind of like, you know, keeps that confidence to really push and hammer it out. And I love it, I really, I just, I really love being out there. It's just, you know, out in the, out in the wilderness, I love that stuff. <laughs> The mental side of things is huge, not just skiing, but in sport in general, right? Because you can be as fit as you want and uh, have everything dialed on snow, but if your head isn't in it, it doesn't really matter much. So, you know, I like to keep things simple, and I like to keep things simple, you know, across the board from my equipment to the way I look at courses, the way I want to ski. As skiers, you know, we have so many different variables to deal with on the hill, and I think if you overcomplicate it, it's just too easy to, to get away from what really keeps me successful, I guess. Definitely, if I look back at myself when I was 20 or 21 years old to where I was, you know, say before I hurt myself or now, I've definitely learned a lot. And I think uh, it's cool that I was actually able to overcome all the challenges I had and actually achieve all this. But am I done? Absolutely not. You know, there's definitely always more to learn and you got to keep going.